Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. And this is going to be the first of my fall DIY hauls from the Dollar Tree. I found some stuff for the fall that I want to definitely have some future DIYs with. But, so I had to pick it now, obviously, because it won't be there for long. So let's get started. Um, but first I want to show you what I got at Target because it's fall. If you're a fan of the Mrs. Myers cleaners, this stuff is great. It's um, This is their everyday multi-surface cleaner. But it's not, it's made with plant-based derived ingredients and essential oils. It's not dangerous to pets, which is why I have it. Because my cats, you see them, they're all over everything. So I prefer this, and I love the smell. This is acorn spice, and I grabbed it in some dish soap and the spray. And this stuff, like anything, goes fast. This Mrs. Myers, and I couldn't even find it in my store I'm wondering if it's in the back and they just haven't put it out yet. So I ordered it online for store pickup and went and got it. So I grabbed that for fall because that's part of my fall stuff. But that's from Target. Now the Dollar Tree. Um, before I get into the fall stuff, they had Trident gum. These are big. These are $4 at the store. It's best by October. I mean, I'll eat it by October. So I grabbed two of them. I drink chew gum at work keeps me sane um yeah and they're 50 slices soft sticks trident gum i was super excited i think these are called the car cups or something i don't know but i grabbed those for a dollar a piece and then part of my diy had some questions on where i got these buckets and i got them at the dollar tree in the wedding section and there's three if you can see for a dollar so that's 33 cents a piece so I grabbed three more. I might do something with fall. Maybe just put some hay or some straw in them or something. Paint them up orange. Make them look like a pumpkin. I don't know. But I grabbed three of those. And then I grabbed another package of these. If you don't know what these are, they fold out to be a little like um, for a wedding, a favor bag, I think they're called. And there's 12 in here. But you can they're plain. You can decorate them any way you want. I use them at Christmas time a lot. Um, I think I'm using the sets I have upstairs for the advent calendar, possibly. I haven't finished that advent for my niece yet. Uh, but these are great. You can decorate them. You can do anything you want. So I grabbed one of those just to have. Um, again, I grabbed some labels because I can actually decorate the bags and then put these labels on them to say who they're for. And this is a 10-pack. So I thought that was great to label some gifts or if I make some homemade something. These are nice labels to have. So I grabbed those. And the last thing that means nothing to fall, I mean, I guess, is I needed some iodine salt. I don't eat this, but um, I am doing some tie-dye, I think, soon, and I needed salt for the tie-dye. So I grabbed one of these for that. So it's irrelevant to the fall haul, but I thought I would share. Now, I grabbed one of these. It looks just like a pumpkin. And I feel like last year I did something, like painted one of these or two of them. I can't remember, but this one I'm filling, um, maybe for my desk at work. I think it would look super cute with dried popcorn in it or candy corn. You could also paint the inside to look like a pumpkin and then tie it off with some raffia. I just think it's perfect and it looks just like a pumpkin. So I grabbed that. I don't have a DIY for it per specifically yet, but it will definitely be something for fall. And I saw one and said, Ooh, you better grab it. So I grabbed it. And then the rest of my fall stuff are signs. I have a lot of signs. Um, because they had a lot of new ones this year. Look at this. It's a pumpkin. And it's one of those separated pumpkins. And it says autumn, apple cider, harvest, pumpkins, falling leaves. I don't think I'm doing anything to this. And the top one is metal that's like glued on there. There is some glitter involved on the top silver, but not bad. But look, isn't that adorable? Now you could totally paint it, but I like it. I think that'll look really cute just as a hanging sign for the fall. Uh, but again, if you wanted to, you could take it apart and do a million things with it. But for right now, my goal is to just hang this probably on my entryway or make it part of my front door decor because it's so pretty. So I have that. I'm not doing anything with that one. I grabbed this. 
and this is glittery and it says pumpkin kisses and harvest wishes um and then it has this raffia bow on it i may sand this down paint it over and do something different i don't like all the glitter i can't really read it i mean i sort of can if you're like right up on it but we'll see. I might make a sign for pumpkin spice everything. Everything pumpkin spice. Because that's how I'm feeling right now. And this is wood. Solid piece of wood. Yeah. My store only had this orange one. So I grabbed one. I'm looking for the white with the gold. Because I like that a lot. And I think it'll go better with my decor. However, I could do a white, an orange, and a black. And then decorate them. But I just grabbed this one for now. Um, I like these a lot with the chalkboard. This is the pumpkin and a little, this is that metal tin, tin leaf. But if you look at the back, it's a blank slate in the pumpkin shape. So this might become a DIY. I really don't have any ideas yet. I mean, I sort of have some things floating around, but I like, I was looking at shapes and I like this shape a lot. Um, I like the sign too, but I like the shape. So I grabbed the pumpkin and they also had, which was super exciting, an apple shape. So I grabbed an apple and if you can see on this tin, the paint's already chipping off. So I'll probably clear, put some clear on it just so it doesn't go any further. But I mean, you could just paint it solid red, you could paint it black and it's a cute sign and it says farm fresh, locally grown produce, 100% organic. And it has a, you know, the fall, but I liked the apple shape of that. Wait till you see this. I'm, are you sitting down? It's a mason jar. Can you see the possibilities with this thing? Yes, the sign is adorable. I'm gonna say that, I'll give it to you. And the top, they have cut the bait, the burlap and glued it on. And it just says, hello fall with the red truck. It is adorable. I love this sign. I grabbed two of these. One I might just leave, but one I just want to paint and do something like with the ball, like a ball jar or something. I don't know. But it's the shape of a canning jar, guys. I love this one. So I grabbed two of those. They had another one too, but I just grabbed two that were handy because I knew I would be painting over one or doing it on the back. So I grabbed two of those. And last and least, not least, is my favorite sign. Guys, I'm just shocked. I love football. Do you see it? Do you, oh, what's happening? Do you see it? So there's little pumpkins and they say family, friends football and that is glitter and look at the little footballs so i'm taking this apart and i'm making an osu ohio state buckeye banner for my mantle so all you have to do is take the um staples off the back i can paint on the back if i want to i can sand down the front and paint on i'm not doing anything to these footballs and if i can get a hold of some dried buckeyes to drill I'm gonna put them between. I will do a DIY on this, no problem. I mean, I just feel like I bought two and I wanna go buy 10 more because these pumpkins are like the perfect size for 100,000 different projects. And just by itself, but I love the footballs. And it's gonna hang this direction, but they'll be upright on my mantle. So I'm gonna to totally take it off this black ribbon and hang it so it's going this way. And it's gonna say OSU or Buckeyes or whatever. And then I'll use the footballs and I'll paint these scarlet and gray. OMG guys, can you believe this? So I would run out and grab these because I feel like these are gonna fly. With the footballs and the fall, I just think you're hitting a lot of markets and a lot of demographics and a lot of different people's jam with the mix between the footballs and the pumpkins. So I would grab these if you can. Um, whatever signs you find that you like. I mean, they're great just to put up, but they're also fun to transform. So that is my fall DIY Dollar Tree haul. Number one, I guess. I'm sure there'll be a hundred more. But for now, you have a good one, and I will talk to you later. Bye. Bye-bye. Go Bucks. O-S-U. O-S-U. Have a good one. Bye.